Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? Welcome to my Raid Shadow Legends video. And in this video, I'm gonna finally get my sixth star hero, believe it or not. Man, I finally made it. Woo! -hoo. Let's not waste any time and jump right into it. Alright, so as I said, I'm gonna get my hero plus in addition. I'm gonna get my first event where I'm actually gonna get all uh, all of the items. So th I'm gonna get this legendary uh, skill tome. I think I, ha I think if I'm yeah, that's it. As soon as I make my six star hero, I'm gonna get this tome as well. So this is gonna be my first event that I'm actually gonna uh, end up uh, claiming everything. I was actually preparing for this one. Uh, this is when you like train and rank your heroes. So I was preparing for this one like for uh, like a week. I thought it was going to pop in two weeks, but it came up uh, last week. So I had only seven days to prepare. Uh, the way I did it is basically I would train uh, the heroes to three stars and uh, three stars with level 30. And then I would uh, wait for this event to pop. So in order for that to work, you need to expand your vault and put them over here. So as you can see, I've have my dudes over here all of the five stars I'm gonna make this guy my six star the main guy because this guy he's the beast the killer <laughs> uh, with him I farm uh, I level up my characters really easy on hard difficulty through the main storyline so for example uh, let me just show you that example before I do that switch in the campaign mode why I selected him because at the very end over here you can see that these guys are like nature or whatever this sign is. I keep forgetting the name of these stupid fractions things. But my dude has additional bonus against them and defense against them because uh, like like the blue sign kicks the green sign. <laughs> I don't know how to call that. I'm sorry. It's almost midnight my time, and I totally forgot I wanted to do this video. So okay, let's go. And I'll show you the magic trick after that. So, oh wait, I, I won't be able, I don't know if I'll be able to get him to a high level. Anyway, let's do it. And by the way, all of his skills are fully ranked up. I have one more copy and I want to rank them up as well because this guy, man, he takes down even legendary heroes. Like, ooh, this guy is extremely good. Alright, let's go. Bam, 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 bam. Come, dude. Daddy! Oh. Daddy! What's up? There we go. Oh yeah. What do I need to do? Oh, uh, okay. Those are pretty easy to get. Sweet! Okay, now let's level him up. Let's see how many levels I'll be able to give him with those 18 pints of there. As I call those things. Level up. I need to get him as max level as possible because, as I said, this guy is the main guy for farming silver, training my units, like, insane-ish. Wait, I'm gonna sacrifice all the pints of beer that I have. Level 39. Yes, sir. And by the way, after this, we'll see if he's still good in that run. Because previously he was destroying everything when he was level 50. But he should be stronger now. And by the way, there's another event coming uh, the artifact enchanting. I, I don't think I have enough money to win it, but I'll need to think about it. Usually if I see that I can get something, I take it and then I stop focusing on it so I don't waste energy on something that I don't want. Like the previous, for example, event, I totally uh, skipped out on it because I didn't want to... I knew that I wouldn't get uh, enough profit out of it, so I didn't uh, want to waste my shards to summon heroes, so I'm saving these like for three weeks now. So you can see 25 Asian shards, 5 void shards, and one sacred shard. This one I got for uh, doing uh, one month, uh, what do you call it?
call quests so you get this thing right here so I got another 24 days and I'll be able to get the void and this one right here uh, the way I got all the blue shards is by doing all the weeklies and uh, the dungeon runs they helped a lot I do dungeons right now only when requested uh, through the quests and only if there's a tournament uh, like for instance this is I believe the tournament that I skipped out on yeah you see I just got this little icon over here so pretty much uh, let's take a look at the results you can see that the guys were just insane and uh, I didn't feel like <clears throat> this is the perfect thing right now I'm using a third-party tool to access the game through a desktop on PC so sometimes it doesn't work the way it should so I guess it's not working well anyway there were guys who got this thing oh there we go finally hey, hey woohoo as you can see uh, well that guy got 4,000 I know for, sh for sure and I got 170 only so I didn't waste none of my shards plus I didn't feel like and I'm gonna make a big video on when I'm gonna be opening these ones but I'm gonna wait until like sometimes news happen over here if you pay attention and uh, like Recently there was this Void Rush is coming, so on the 6th of September I believe this was, if we were to summon Voids, you, uh, the chance of getting a Legendary was an epic, uh, was increased, so that's cool. So I'm gonna wait for something like uh, this one for example, I don't know, Global Summoning, Temporary Summoning Chances for Legendary, yes sir, I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, for now, my plan is to keep saving and to wait for some good event to come so I can open all those shards and get uh, as maximum uh, bonus items from all the events because these items, they have a really good value. I mean, look at these. 30 shards, silver, uh, Asian shard, void shard. This skill books are very important. They're, you can't get them anywhere else. And... Uh, I'm saving my skill box. Once I messed up with my skill box, I gotta be honest. And that was a real bad pull on her. <laughs> I messed up everything. Now I have other books that I can, for example, increase her skills, right? You see with all these ones. But I don't want to. I'm gonna wait until I'm gonna open all those shards. Maybe I'm gonna get something really cool. But I really like her. Because she increases the speed and everything. But I want to see if I'm going to get luckier. But at the moment, my squad is pretty good. We're taking down with like in silver rank 3 and put, taking us down so I can earn those badges. Let's take a look if at the current level this guy will be able to take down all of these guys. Plus, you'll see the amount of XP I get. So that's how I'm leveling up my dudes. Let the party begin. I'm not sure if I'm gonna win. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't think I'm gonna win. Usually I take them out in one shot. I need to level up my dude. Or maybe I will, I don't know. He's got some pretty good gear. Well, his gear is outdated, by the way. I haven't been farming good gear for him. He's got like a mix of three stars and I think four stars, maybe five stars. Definitely, this weapon and shield is a very old ones. They give the shield buff uh, as soon as I enter the new round, as you can see, like bam, there you go, shield. So it helps me t to get time to recover from the uh, vampire draining thing. Alright, alright. I'm actually gonna win. And I think I did even better than I did before. This guy is super freaking strong. And look how much XP. Almost 6,000 experience. <clears throat> this is insane. And now I can actually uh, level him up to level 60. And then proceed with the storyline and uh, get to a higher rank. And the the more you go, like proceed, the more silver you get. And I want to get here to the brutal, to so I can 
easily 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 get a lot a lot a lot of silver and easily uh, level up my dudes so that's the main point and then I try to do this as, as much as I can so I was able to do the lizard ones but my uh, banner lord dudes well they suck plus they don't have gear I mean I have good ones these are all bluish like rare style but still uh, they don't have gear and they need to be assessed etc et but I'm saving all of mine uh, these things, what it called? I, well, I can't pronounce it. These things. Uh, there is going to be an event. I'm not sure when it's going to pop. So I'm trying to grind out these ones and make a little co combination of everything. And and by the way, those you get in the dungeons over here. So these open like per like every day. One of them is opens. But there was once this. Uh, I don't remember. Was it a tournament or uh, an event? It happened only once since I started playing and that was like a little bit over a month ago. So all four of them were open. I mean all four of them including this guy. So yeah. In, like if you plan out everything you're gonna get everything done like with ease. Like I, I'm i gonna be honest I did spend $15 on this game. But I'm not gonna spend any more. The reason why I spent is because I wanted to get this mine updated to level 3 to maximum. So now I'm getting the gems with no problem. So. I'm going to do a separate video on this, but let me just sort of uh, tell you what you need to do. Max out this, max out the market, and max out the pit. And then you can use the gems for whatever you want. So the market is good because, first of all, you can buy 5 stars uh, gear, but you can check before you buy something. Like this 4 stars, this one is not good. Although this is good, but everything else is not good. I, I prefer to have everything in percentage so I'm sort of waiting for those and I started buying only 5 stars. I've never seen a 6 star pop in here but I've seen an Asian shard popping in here for 200,000 200, so this Asian can also appear in the market. That's why I have so many. I mean from the market most probably I got 10 shards just from the market. And as you can see I got a lot of silver so I might gonna do a little bit of this event right here and get some more bonuses. Unfortunately I, I don't think we can visit, yeah it's not live so I can't vis uh, see the bonuses. But basically looking at the bonuses I'll be able to predict and understand what I can claim which if I should waste my uh, silver on it or not. Like for instance as you can see those 3 star, 3 star, 4, 4, four, four. okay the 4 is good but once again I need to make sure that my sets and these bonuses are good. Like this weapon is actually trash, <laughs> and the shield. So I'm not gonna replace it with. Oh my god! Look at all that stuff. I can sell and get some more. I'm gonna replace it with the divine life set. So basically, 15 HP and 15% HP self shield for three turns. So pretty much. Uh, but this one gives attack though, 15% attack and that's better. Because <laughs> this guy is an attack and he gets advantage from the attacks. Okay, I'm not gonna change it. So yeah, I plan to do a little bit more videos as soon as I get it, to know the game a little bit more. Right now I'm just sort of still messing around with it, playing it, and, you know, getting used to everything. So, for those from the Z clan, by the way, we do have our clan, here we go. We're still in a bad rank, but we grow, we grow, step by step, inch by inch. <laughs> we already have a few Z Clan members here, Lord Jaden, <laughs> Kerner, Chief Master, Chief and Master. Yeah, but I need to start uh, recruiting people. Look at all this. This is insane. I kicked like. 10 people today because they were inactive for over five and one some of them even weeks so uh, let's see if we can uh, buy to clan yeah cool, cool. wait hold on look at these dudes Ooh, uh, wow. hey, this game is actually really epic I'm so happy that I watched that juice heads video and uh, he was sponsored by this game and I gave it a try because I wanted to find myself a good uh, mobile game and I absolutely fell in love with it. Alright, Z Clan, you know, drill. I hope you enjoyed the show, and if you did, don't forget to leave that like. Always leave your comments down below. Please don't use profanity because those comments are not visible to other users. I can read them, I can't react to them, but I will delete them. So I have that in mind. 
And uh, you all have a good morning, day, and night. By the way, if you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine. So, hi from Ukraine, by the way, where are you from? And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.